Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic product review just for you. These came to me all the way from Essex, uh, United Kingdom, Jen. I guess she works in a store and she said these were some of the new products that they're selling in their store. And uh, these were her favorite four out of the whole store. Right, Jen? Right. Okay, so uh, let's see what we got here. We've got Matchmakers Minis. These are cool mint. I'm gonna go, go out on a limb and say these will probably be my favorite. I love mint chocolate. It's good once in a while. Uh, and then we have Revels or Revels. Correct me, please. Revels or Revels. Comment in the comment section below, please. So I've had these before. I believe they're big caramels uh, with chocolate on them, very chewy. And it tells you how to open it right there. <clears throat> As my voice cracks once again. Uh, Thorntons, these are, this is special toffee. Mmm. I wonder, I think I'll like this one over the toffee one. Uh, fabulous fudge from Thorntons. Look at that. Very, very lovely packaging. We'll start with this one. There's no instructions on how to open this, so I'm just gonna go for it. I don't, I don't see any instructions. Sometimes they have like these little pull tab thingies. Oh, look, oh no, that's not it. Come on, dude. You're hungry. Beasties. Beasties. Okay, there we go. So we ripped our side open. My fam family loves the fan packages from different parts of the world. Oh, look at this. The design on the chocolate is just fabulous. It fell apart. It got smashed in the mail. I apologize. Oh, sorry. The Canadian Post. That was my cat sneezing, by the way. Just in case we were wondering what that was. So this is the fudge. Very smooth milk chocolate. Little tiny bits of sticky fudge or something. It's almost like I'm eating a toffee one. But it definitely tastes very, very fudgy. Like a budgie, but with an F. Fudgy. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys gotta work on your opening of these chocolate bars. I'm not sure if it's the, the Swiss people or the Swiss chocolate bars or the Finnish chocolate bars. Yeah, that's funny, it broke in the same spot. They must have been in the package the same way. But there you go, Thornton's, actually it's the other exact opposite spot. Very lovely, check out all the designs. I'm hoping it focuses for you. That's very cool. Okay, well, I'll eat the broken piece and the bits that broke off that way. So it's probably the same milk chocolate, but it will have toffee bits in it. Almost tasted the same. I gotta do it again. Yeah. <laughs> this one has crunchy, chewy things in it, where this one should have it. They're stuck in my teeth. That's funny. Maybe it says on the packaging that there's, there's chocolate all over my desk. Fabulous fudge. So in the picture, it's showing that there's little bits of stuff, but I didn't know they were going to be as uh, sticky, chewy as what I'm experiencing. It says with fudge pieces, but it's almost like um, like toffee pieces. That's how how sticky it is. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to keep save these for last. This one doesn't have oh, it's, it has a tear spot, so it's saying rip here. Oh, look at that, and it ripped there. Oh, it's Louie. Louie's got a cold. Poor kitty. So these are just little round balls Ooh la la. of chocolate. And I'm pretty sure it's like a caramel. Oh, hard. Um, like Whoppers or Maltesers. I love these. Oh, this one's different. All right. There's a whole bunch of different uh, candies in here. They all look the same. If you can see in the back package, they all look very similar. But on the back, it tells you that there are different flavors and kinds of chocolate. So if I can read this with my super duper glasses. Oh, we have raisin, coconut maybe, uh, orange, toffee, and two other ones I can't read. 
I'll try and find them out for you. That one looks the same. You know, here's a flat one. So it's more like a big, huge Smarty or M&M kind of looking. That one's like solid chocolate. Here's a really small one. It's probably the raisin. It doesn't look like a raisin. Oh, actually, real, real gummy toffee kind of chew to it. Okay, guys, on to the one that I think will be the number one. Although the, the fudge one's good. I like, oh, little. St I, I looked at the. I didn't really look at the picture on the front, but the little sticks. Oh, scratch it. <laughs> Sniff it. All I smell is mint chocolate. When I was young, I used to love getting mint chocolate shakes because all the all the the chocolate chips would all fall to the bottom. So after you drank your mint chocolate shake, uh, you got to eat all the chocolate bits at the bottom. Check it out. Mmm, they're crispy too. So it's choc um, So it's solid chocolate, no like filling inside. This says mini matchmaker mints, mint flavored chocolate with skimmed milk, dark chocolate, and boiled sugar pieces. Boiled sugar pieces, skimmed milk, chocolate. Hmm. Yup. I could see me eating a bag of those, no problem. But on my comparison scale here, uh, uh, if I went out to get some something to satisfy my sweet tooth, I would probably buy the Fabulous Fudge, then this, then this. This was the toffee one, you know what that was. And then this this would be my last choice of, of the four. Uh, they're good. Uh, I, th I think when I buy something, I want to kind of eat the same thing all the way through as opposed to maybe getting some things I like and maybe getting some things I don't like as much. So this is my last on my rating scale. If you guys want to rate this, leave a comment in the comment section below as to which one of these is your favorite if you've ever even tried them before. If you haven't, chances are uh, you can have a friend like Jen send it to you. That would be awesome. Uh, or you can go to a specialty shop. There's specialty, sh specialty shops all over the place. Uh, there's one just north of where I live in a place called Aurelia. And uh, I think they do mail. They, they will mail stuff to you, candies and stuff, so you can find them on the internet. All right, guys, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. I love to thank Jen for sending me these awesome treats. I cannot wait to share them with my family. Once again, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic product review. Ken Domic out. Boop. And now we're shooting. <laughs> Quit fooling around. All the way from Essex, United Kingdom from Jen. Yeah. Food, fan, package, thing. Let's have a sip of water, shall we? And the mic is on. Ooh, 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 there we go, okay. Uh, the United Kingdom. What? Hmm.